What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now, I've been on the road for a few weeks on tour and it's really hard to get Wi-Fi, but when I logged in the other day, I saw my girl Nikki Tutorials Soleil with a new makeup challenge. Now, I read the title and I'm like, full face using only kids makeup? I'm like, <gasps> Girl, Jesus, take the wheel. So, of course, you guys know that we've all done the full face highlighters that went viral, and then we did the full face liquid lip. Oh my god. But now, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the full face using only kids makeup. Now, I googled kids makeup on Amazon, and all these crazy things that I have not seen since I was an infant were um, popping up on my screen. I mean, hi, look at the cell phone. I'm like, hit me up on the hotline bling, girl. What's your tea? So, I went to Claire's to find some face makeup, eyeliner, and lashes, and I actually found a really good amount of stuff. So before we dive into this, you guys, I just wanna give everyone an extra big hug through the screen right now and say thank you for all the love and support through the last few weeks as all this crazy shit has been going down. And I also hit two million subscribers while I was on the road, and it's just been a really crazy month. So thank you guys for being so supportive, and let's dive into this challenge and have some fun. Face makeup, oh my god. You all know I wear a mask, a foundation, concealer, and powder. So when I was looking for face makeup, I was like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> crickets over here. But I did find some cool stuff. So at Claire's, they had some BB cream, and then they also had a brand called Icing, which is kind of like Claire's. And then I also found this Icing BB cream and two-way wet and dry foundation. So I have never tried this before. I did not try this prior to filming this, so we're gonna experience this hell together. Now this BB cream, who knows if it's gonna be my skin color, but we're gonna just pray and see what happens. Okay, it looks light, so I'm. let's just see what happens. This one though, I'm like, am I supposed to shake this? I'm scared. Brighten, refresh, and conceal. Sounds like my entire life. Ooh, okay, that one is definitely darker. So that is this one right here. I'm just gonna try the first one first, and I'm gonna use this foundation brush. This says Expert Buffer Brush. Okay, girl, I see you. Hmm, okay. Okay, it doesn't smell as crazy as I thought it would. Okay, this is a little pale. I'm like, come on, Casper. Okay, I'm gonna mix it with this other guy because this shit's gonna look crazy. So I'm literally just gonna take this brush and swirl it around in my hand, and there we go. And this covers a way bigger area, so I think this will definitely work best. Oh my god, this brush is making this really blotchy. But hey, we're gonna make this work. Okay, the more you kind of blend it in, it does it does work. Definitely need a lot more. Now, I've been traveling so much, my skin doesn't even know what to do anymore. It's like I'm in 80% humidity one day, then the desert the next day. I've been in like 10 states in the last two weeks, so I'm surprised my skin is letting all this happen right now. Now, I gotta say one thing. I bought all this stuff with my own money, and I'm like, girl, why is this stuff so damn expensive? Like, this brush alone was $9.50. I'm like... All right, girl. Now on to concealer. There was no concealer sticks, there was no pens, there was nothing like that at Claire's, and a lot of the stuff is actually sold out. So this one is from Icing. It says it's a moisturizing concealer. Now the color, I'm scared. Now this, this is a big concealer. Okay, now I'm scared. Oh wow, okay, this is very yellow toned, very warm, and I am the opposite, but you know what? It's all they had, you guys, and sometimes you just gotta make it work. Voila, we are concealed. Now I saw this powder foundation, which I have to cover my entire face with powder foundation after I do all this, and this one looks way too dark for me, so I'm just gonna put this away. I'm scared. But I found this on the kids section, and I'm like, okay, girl. Now, I've never seen or heard of this before, but let's give it a whirl. So you open it up, and it has lipsticks in a pan, blushes, face powder. Thank God, I'm like, yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. And then you open it up, and it's like, voila, it has everything in it. I'm like, okay. But for now, I'm gonna dip into this lightest shade right here with a bigger powder brush, and let's just Pray it works. 
All right, the face is powdered and set. Now let's get to contouring. Now for contour, I'm gonna be using this big crazy little palette from Icing. This has everything I think you ever need in it. Now there is really no contour palette for kids, obviously, so I found some eyeshadows in here and these are contour colors, so I'm just going to uh, give them a whirl. And I'm gonna be using this, what is this brush? This is from Claire's. It's the only one I can find that would probably really go with these cheekbones. So let's give this all a whirl. All right, we are contoured. Now for a highlight, you know I wish I had a skin frost handy, but I was looking through and there was a lot of eyeshadows that are sparkly that I think could definitely um, be a highlighter. Ooh, okay, glitters. Now these have blushes in them, so I'm just gonna try some blush right now while we're here. Ooh, this has glitter in the blush. You better work. Uh, oh, well, they don't have any color to them, but hey. Oh no, I see a tiny bit of coming through now. This is very, very soft. This is for like the girl next door. All right, my blush is snatched. Now, I'm still looking for a highlighter, everybody. Now, in this crazy beauty book, there are eyeshadows, and look at this one. This one is like, oh, hello, that's a highlighter to me. There we go. Oh, that's like blinding. You better, okay. All right, let's do these brows. All right, now for brows, I'm gonna be using this little Claire's angled brush with this icing palette again. Now, these have so many eyeshadows, I'm sure we're gonna find is something for my brow color. This little taupe one looks cool. Let's pray these have some pigment and uh, let's get to it. All right, now for eyes, I'm gonna do a little blue smoky moment in my crease. Now, these ones, let's just see if they have any pigment. These have a lot of really cute colors, so I am gonna put down a lighter base, and I'm gonna be going in between that palette and this guy, and uh, let's see if they wanna work. I definitely did not get enough brushes, so I am gonna be using a few Morphe brushes that are very affordable if you've never used them before, and let's get started. Okay, these eyeshadows smell really strong. I'm like, ooh, lord. All right, now I'm gonna be using this Claire's brush and dipping into this purple. Now, purples are really hard to make, so let's see if this one looks like it on the brush. Now I'm gonna try on one of these other blue ones. And I think if you're gonna do this challenge, you better show the damn makeup from brush to eye. Cause I've seen a lot of people do it this week after Nikki and I'm like, mm -hmm. I see you honey. Oh, this is an interesting color, I love it. All right, now I'm gonna be using this guy. It's like a dark, kind of like grayish teal and then this black color and just deepen and darken this crease out. Give me the drama. All right, now for this little inner corner part, I found these liquid glitter liners and I wanted to put them, you know, right in here. So let's try them out. Oh, okay, little wand. Now I'm just gonna put the glitter right in here. The brush is really hard. I feel like I'm about to gouge my eye out, but the glitter looks cute. All right, Claire's, I see you. Definitely have to dip in like a hundred times to get a full coat, but the glitter is really, it's really cute. Now, I'm gonna do a little eyeliner. Now, there was a few pencils I saw. This one is called the Extreme Black Cream Liner with a smudger on the end. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna use this and pop this in my waterline. Ooh, oh, okay. This is really pigmented, you guys. I'm like, wow. All right, now we're just gonna smudge out this liner with this brush that feels like it's scratching my eyes out, but hey, it wor it's working. I'm gonna, you know, just do that little effect where it looks like I've been sucking dick for 20 minutes and my makeup's kind of smeared. This like feels like the felt on a pool table. My eyeball is like, what in the hell? Now before I do my lashes, I'm gonna curl them with this Claire's little faux Swarovski. Yes, I just said faux. And see if this will curl my lashes. Oh wow, that's not bad. Now for mascara today, I'm gonna be using the Icing Instinct Volumizing Mascara. Now for lashes today, I was like, are we gonna find any lashes? Claire's has their own brand and these are called the Faux Lash. These are really thick actually, I was surprised. So let's see if they're gonna fit on my eyes. All right, lashes are done. Now normally I wear way bigger pairs, but 
These are actually really cute. Let's get on to lips. Now, there was a lot of lip glosses. Now, I found these guys. I know we have all seen these, and I'm like, do these even work? I guess we can try them out together. And I also found some more Claire's glosses, and then this one, which I love the pink. This is like a lip duo, a lipstick and a lip gloss in one. So I might try this guy first, actually. But first of all, yellow, I had to see what was up with this one. Oh my god, it smells like bananas. Like, actual, like, banana candy. That is so crazy. Does it say that on here? Oh my god, that is so weird. I haven't it's like that old banana candy from like the 90s. I'm gonna use this icing lip duo crayon and gloss and let's see if it works. Ooh, okay, pink. Really streaky and clumpy, but hey, I'm gonna make it work. Oh my god, this smells like Play-Doh. Alright, now let's try the gloss part of this, which I hope works a lot better. Oh my god, these all have the weirdest smells, you guys. I'm like <laughs> My nose is like, oh my god. Oh, that is intense. Oh, okay, it, it shines though. Uh, the texture, you guys, is like oil. That feels so weird, but I gotta say, it is really shiny. All right, now for setting spray. There ain't no setting spray for kids, so this look is complete, you guys. Now, this challenge, I was like, okay, I was kind of scared diving into this, but I, this is... I'm like kind of speechless. I think this look is very wearable for me. It looks cool. Now, of course, um, my only little notes are some of this shit has no pigment. But hey, what did I expect? Um, a lot of it actually did. So it was kind of like a 50-50 thing for me. Um, I think you guys should all try this challenge. Go to Claire's, grab a few palettes, and really try to create a look out of this. I had a lot of fun creating this look and I want you guys to all try it. Tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. You guys know the drill. I'm, I'm really loving all these challenges. So what, what other challenges should I do next? Leave some comments down below and I will see you guys on the next one. Mwah. Bye guys. Honey boo boo juice. There was no conceal. <laughs> I'm like sitting here like <laughs> creamy on what is this called? Where did my mascara go? I'm sorry, this shit don't work.